guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a little addition that I made on to armor. We're going to be covering a little bit of armor as well, how to create it. Um, this might change in the near future, but uh, for the most part uh, we're just going to be utilizing custom textures and I'm going to be hopefully providing you a template that actually works. I'm not entirely sure if it's completely laid out this way but uh, I'll get into that in just a sec. So in order to get your own um, models what you want to do is extract uh, whatever version of M Creator the, the game's for so uh, 1.8.3 is for 1.12.2 so I've, I've been just using 1.12.1 .1 for the textures and stuff like that. You can open up uh, like 1.14 or whatever too that will work fine most of the time but uh, it's always good to go with the same version just in case. If you go to textures, um, it looks like Minecraft textures and then finally models and then there's armor. Then you're going to notice a couple things. There's usually two armor textures, layer one or layer one and layer two. So these are your textures that you're going to need for your armor. Um, you can decorate it however you want. I've got a preset right here. But uh, right now, uh, I'm going to just hop into paint.net. So I've created this uh, template so you guys can kind of figure out all the sides and stuff like that. A lot of the sides aren't actually utilized in the actual armor textures themselves. Uh, the darkest textures here, here, and here are your front textures, where these, the lightest ones here, here, and here, and these as well are your side textures and the medium darkness right here, here, and here, as well as this one, are all your your back textures. And then you have your top textures, which are usually above. So one on the right-hand side is your bottom texture. So the layout's pretty much the same across all the textures or the boxes and stuff like that. So you have your, your sides, your front, your back, and your um, your y-axis, so your bottom and your right, or your top and your bottom. Uh, same thing goes for your feet. So I've also color coordinated it, so it's a little bit easier to figure out what you're working on. This is your helmet. Um, I believe this is your boots and your chest plate. This is actually the arms for your chest plate. So the arms are the, these textures here. Uh, this is your body textures like the actual chest part where your armor is, this is where the arms go. These are your boots, your bottom and top of your boots, your helmet, and then over here you have your actual legging areas uh, where it goes down to where your, your boots are. I think this area right here can still be utilized, but it goes over the boots, so I'm not entirely sure if you can actually utilize this or not. Um, and then you have your where your um, groin area is, where it connects to your chest plate. So this is where that model is. It's a larger square than what your legging parts move. Your leggings actually move the parts where your legs are, but I believe this part's separate. So a little bit hard to figure out, but I'm sure you guys will be able to texture it just fine. I'll leave that in the zip for the actual mod. So we don't actually need that right now. We're just gonna hop into M Creator. I have some scuba gear set up. So we're gonna be creating like a scuba mod type thing uh, where we can get some pretty cool stuff. So first thing we need to do is go to our textures and then go to import other texture, no, armor texture. And then you want to select your um, your first layer. So I need to go to scuba layer one, and then you want to select scuba two, and click OK. So your textures are imported. Uh, we're also going to need to import a couple item textures to. So our first item texture is our air tank. And the next one is our goggles. 
So that's actually part of the armor set that we're going to be creating as well. It's actually very similar to what it looks like. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to create an armor. So I'm just going to call it scuba. And we're going to disable our leggings and boots because we're not actually going to use that in this model. And we're going to select our helmet texture for our icon and our scuba tank. And then what we want to do is also create a helmet tick event. And once you create an armor tick event, uh, click create procedure. And then you want to import a helmet. So I'm going to explain how all this works. So the first thing that you probably noticed is we're setting a variable. Um, local random we actually need to create a local variable so called number and then random all lowercase so this will work now so what's happening is the local variable random which we just created is set to a random number and then what we want to do is we're going to if uh, get variable so we're getting a variable random uh, is greater than or equal to 0 0.995 which is only a 0.005% chance of ha happening because it caps at, um, at 1 so it doesn't it don't it, there's only a 5% chance there so then it will uh, do the rest of the procedure so add potion level one uh, or add potion with level one and duration 600 now this is important um, because this is so rare um, to actually run a procedure what we want to do is make sure the duration for the potion is actually pretty high uh, I found that 600 is pretty good for uh, keeping it still in use by the time the next tick happens so that's fine and then we're just gonna have night vision so this is for our goggles right so this makes sense to have night vision on and then we're gonna also deal um, the provided item damage with one so this isn't going to damage it very often only every time it refreshes so add the procedure and you want to create a body tick as well so I'm just gonna go create procedure and then I'm gonna import body and we need to set up the number and random and that should that warning should go away and we have water breathing for our tank and our duration everything set up properly add procedure it's the exact same procedure system as the uh, helmet so you don't need to worry about it and click next now we set our variables so give it our our armor name so scuba armor uh, you can set what tab you want it under and uh, the name of the texture so that one so that's what you want to select your texture for your armor so you can just click on it and then select your armor that you imported previously. Uh, minimum damage of armor or minimum damage that armor absorbs. So uh, I think this is the, the uh, amount of damage it can actually withstand. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah. So you're gonna have to play around with that. It might be needed to be a higher level. This might be set to like leather or something like that. But um, oh, maximal damage. So I don't know if that's for every item though. So I'm gonna just set it to one thousand. We'll take a look at that later. Um, and enchantability, so this is basically um, 
how good the enchantments are on it. So, for example, like, um, gold armor has better enchantment enchantability than, say, diamond, because it's a cheaper material, right? So if higher numbers will actually give more rare uh, enchantments on it when you go to enchant it. Now the damage values uh, for helmet, body, chest, leggings, and boots. Um, this is just the armor rating for it. I'm not entirely sure if it actually does anything or not, but uh, that little armor bar that's at the bottom of your screen will most likely have something to do with this. Um, and then the toughness, so this is uh, for like what diamond has, you might notice that it has like toughness, it says diamond has 2.0, so if you set this to 2.0 it's going to have toughness, I'm not sure what toughness actually does though, it's just something that diamond has, so we'll just set it to that, and then we'll go next, and then that's all created. And then we'll hop in game and uh, we'll demonstrate the scuba gear. So you want to create a new world. Um, so we're going to go world and creative and then we're going to create a brand new world. So we'll just open this up. And once we're in here, what we can do is we can go to our combat, and then we'll have two new items. And this isn't going to be large enough, but this ocean will be. So if we go over here and we put our helmet on here and our chest plate on here, uh, we should see a couple things pop up. So we have night vision and water breathing. So if you watch the, the timer, it's actually refreshing ever so often, and it will actually damage the item every update that it does, so it's um, actually extremely high in durability. Yeah. You might want lower amounts of durability, honestly, but if we go into, say, survival, uh, or no, game mode, game mode zero, and we go in here, then you can see that we have scuba gear, and it's actually easy to see, and we can go around the ocean as we wish, we got all the water breathing in the world, <laughs> so um, yeah, it's pretty cool, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff now underwater. And uh, you still have that kind of water effect around when you look around like that, but that's okay. It looks sounds like there's a zombie spawner around here or something. But outside of that, hopefully you guys found this useful. I'll provide the workspace, uh, the textures, and um, you know all that for you guys to experiment with. Um, just don't copy it or anything like that. At least they're not the textures. You can use the uh, template texture to work on your own um, your own textures and stuff like that. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, just with the scuba one, just kind of use it for like learning and stuff like that. So. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, next week we'll be doing some extra stuff, of course, uh, for tutorials and stuff like that. So hopefully you enjoyed. See you guys next week, and peace out.